hello everyone so today we are going to start our next topic and that is for uh, from our english moments book chapter number 8 the name of this chapter is a house is not a home so let's start this chapter so first uh, i just want uh, to uh, as we have done the explanation part so today we will do the question answer of this chapter in which we will do the textual as well as some long questions okay so uh, before starting the question answer a brief introduction and uh, of this chapter i just want to give okay as this story a house is not a home is written by zen okay so in this story the uh, actually this story deals with the challenges and problems of growing up okay life is after all not a pure bed of roses it has its little pin uh, pricks and uh, big disasters okay on the way only a small number of lucky teenagers grow in peace and prosperity right now the rest face so many uh, treats and hardships so the rest they feel uh, they just face many threads and very many hardships many problem many obstacle in their way so the author first describe how problems wreck his life take away all his sense of security the story of his reun started on a sunday afternoon when his house went up in flames he lost his books backpack everything we can say he has lost in that fire he also lost his checkbook his shoes and even uh, his very dear one his very dear cat so his lo- uh, his loss was heart breathing that time okay he lost the will to cope with this problem but his hard times didn't last long his schoolmates his grandfather and a lady made his life worth living once again he got his new house built and also covered his lost cat so now we can say as he has recovered the lost cat as he have uh, you know the people were around him those who have helped him in this phase of life so life became very normal for him now he got up new friends at the new school his cat was back and so he was back at the track so he was again back in life okay so uh, a summary also i just want to tell so this is for them those who haven't uh, even gone through the video okay of explanation part in this story the narrator zan is telling uh, uh, and sharing one experience with her us okay so the narrator's first year at the high school was most painful he had become a freshman at the new school freshman means he was a fresher there all right it was twice as big as his old school so what was worse all his closest closest friend had joined a different school so he was alone in that school and there was no friend of him he also missed his old teachers he went to see them they advised uh, him to take part in the school activities in plain words the narrator was told to adjust himself to the changes that he will face in the higher class and the new school where he has gone now one sunday afternoon he was doing his homework at the dining room table he uh, it was a cold and windy day okay uh, and his red cat was lying on the top of his papers and occasionally attacked his pen playfully so the cat was trying to play with the person play with zen suddenly he smelled something very strange then he noticed a smoke coming in through the joints in the ceiling the house was on fire all ran outside the narrator sent a call to the department fire department what while her mother ran back into the house twice first she carried a metal box containing important papers next she ran back to get the pictures and letters of the father so as narrator's father uh, passed away before some years and he was actually the mother was uh, just looking after the child okay so he was not there with them he was died so that is why the mother wants the pictures and the letters of the father the narrator was about to run after but he was held by a fireman the firefighter had already run into the house they rescued the mother 
ants they rescued mother from there and then took her over to the truck and put her on oxygen she had inhaled smoke that is why she was not in condition to breathe breathe properly the house was burning and there was nothing the narrator could do about it fire was put out finally 5 hours later then the narrator suddenly thought of his cat she was nowhere to be found he broke down in tears and started to cry because she was the only friend of him he had suffered on three fronts he wasn't quite at easy in his at ease in his a uh, new school okay his house was burnt to ashes so his ho- house was totally burnt his cat was also no- lost in a, so the cat was also not there he along with his mother went to grandparents house to spend the night the next day he went to school he was wearing the cu- church dress his shoes the homework and his bag all were consumed by the fire he had no books and no bags pa- backpacks it was too much to bear he didn't want to grow up and live such a miserable life he just wanted to die all the security of his old school his friends his house and his cat was taken away from him after school that day he went back to his old house whatever had been burnt was destroyed by water he missed his dear cat most he had to begin life anew but he had no credit card no cash no identification proof to withdraw money from the bank he borrowed money from his grandparents the rubble of his house was cleared was cleared off that uh, 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 that week the bad news of his misfortune is unfortunate spread quickly e- even in the school the student and the teacher joined hands to help the boy the next day as he was getting ready for gym class his classmates pushed him into the gym on a big table were placed all kinds of things for him clothes notebooks it was like christmas he made so many new friends he got several invitations he finally breathed a sigh of relief a month later he was watching his new house under construction he had his new friends from school for many company for company sake while he sat there a woman walked up to him holding a cat he cried with joy the cat had in fact run over a mile away her collar had his phone number on it but the phone had been destroyed in the fire that friendly woman took the cat in and worked hard to find out the cat's owner with the recovery of the cat all the feelings of loss and tragedy were gone he felt grateful he felt very thankful for his life and his new friends the kindly uh, the kindly women and the recovery of his cat he became normal as ever before so children you can just understand here so life actually gives us challenges to face okay and we just have to be very strong in the situation okay whatever is there we should face the situation with strength and determination so then the life will become meaningful for everybody okay that was the summary now let's start the question answers okay so first textual question what does the author notice on sunday afternoon what is his mother's reaction what does she do so answer one sunday afternoon the author notices some smoke coming in through the joints in the ceiling full stop the house catches fire all the members run out the mother however runs into the house twice first to save important documents and then to get her late husband's picture and letters now second question why does he break down in tears after the fire answer the author is all in tears after the fire he discovers that his dear cat is missing he cries he cannot help expressing his grief okay this is answer number 2 now answer number 3 why is the author deeply emba- embarrassed the next day in school which word show his fear and insecurity answer the author was wearing the dress he had worn to church that morning he had lost his shoes also so when he went to school on monday he felt deeply embarrassed and small 
the clothes i was wearing looked weird i had no books or homework and my backpack was also gone so these are the words which are telling the same situation okay now question number 4 the cat the cat and the author are very fond of each other how has this been shown in the story where was the cat after the fire who bring it back and how okay so answer the author suffers great losses on sunday full stop his house is burnt to ashes his dear cat goes missing in fact the cat manages to run a far away and is picked up by a kind lady she makes inquiries about the cat's owner and brings it back to him the author grabs the cat and cries with joy so this is answer number 4 now question number 5 what actions of the schoolmates change the author's understanding of life and people and comfort him emotionally how does his loneliness vanish and how does he start participating in life very important question children okay so answer number 5 the author felt so depressed after losing his house cat books and clothes that he felt like ending his life but his understanding of life and people changed when his uh, schoolmates helped him with gifts they comforted him emotionally he made new friends he found life worth living once again so very important question okay very important thing is given here all right answer number 5 okay now question number 6 what is the meaning of my cat was back and so i wo- so was i had the the author gone anywhere why does he say that he is also back answer with the recovery of his cat the author was very glad his faith in life and friends and destiny was restored he felt as secure and happy as before that fateful sunday okay so this is answer number 6 all right answer number 6 so children these were the textual question now we will do some long answer type question okay all right so in long answer type question number 1 my fr- my first year of high school felt awkward why did the narrator have such a feeling answer the narrator was a school boy he lived a very secure and carefree he was the head boy of his class and had a number of friends but he felt ill at ease in the high school he started as a freshman okay he lost the company of his closest friends he missed his old teachers he called on them very often but they advised him to love his new school and take part in school activities to make matters worse his own house caught fire he lost his homework books bag boots and clothes above all he lost his pet cat thus he felt very miserable so this is answer number 1 okay now second question okay so question number 2 i just wanted to curl up and die what made the the narrator become so desperate as to long for death answer the narrator first tasted and faced the problem of the growing up when his house went up in flames one sunday afternoon he noticed smoke coming through the joints in the ceiling soon the whole house was engulfed in flames his dear cat also ran away from the burning house he lost his telephone his bank papers his school books his boots and clothes he spent the night at his grandparents house he borrowed money from them at school he felt very small and laughable he lost all hope of any change for the better life seemed unbearable for him so he longed for death so this is answer number 2 now
नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ऑल द सिक्योरिटी आई हैड नोन फ्रॉम माई ओल्ड स्कूल माई फ्रेंड्स माई हाउस एंड माई कैट हैड बीन रेप्ड अवे इलाबोरेट सो आंसर द नारेटा हैड अ वेरी बैड एक्सपीरियंस आफ्टर ज्वाइनिंग हाई स्कूल इट वॉज अ ईयर ऑफ मिस हाब्स वन आफ्टर द अदर इन हिज ओल्ड स्कूल ही वॉज हैड बॉय ऑफ द स्कूल हैड गुड कंपनी एंड लविंग टीचर्स एट होम ही वॉज क्वाइट हैप्पी क्या फ्री एंड सिक्योर He had a red cat for company but one sunday afternoon he lost everything he lost his house his bank passbook all his clothes books and boots his cat also went away it was like a fearful dream a sudden calamity he felt alone unsafe and miserable he wanted to curl up and die okay now question number 4 we will have how did things take a sudden turn and revived the narrator's gratitude for his life answer the narrator had a very bitter experience during his first year of high school he lost his first fast friends and loving teachers and his senior status he started as a fresher alone and unhappy on a sunday afternoon his house also went up in flames at school he felt very small and funny without books boots and bag he launched for death but slowly things took a turn at the new school he received a lot of help and attention they offered so many gifts he made new friends his house was also rebuilt finally one day a lady handed him lost her cat life became meaningful once again for the boy for him so beta this is answer number 4 okay so that's all related to this chapter okay textual questions as well as the long answer type question we have done now complete the work in your notebook all right and uh, keep on studying keep on learning for your midterms all right now complete the work and send that to me for checking okay now thank you so much for watching just complete your work thank you